What's going on guys, Hitball's back for the next part of this tutorial, and if you remember in the last part, the editor fucking crashed, and that was awesome, because I lost everything that we just did, except for the import, that was it, uh, we do have the, yeah, just the imports, uh, all the third person blueprints and all that stuff are gone, uh, but the good thing about that, I suppose, is that we can now dump this stuff again. And when we dupe it, we don't have to do it twice. Uh, kind of a kind of a little treat for us, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, so um, and obviously this isn't all we want to do. So we no longer have the ability to uh, be without a gun, but we can always say, hey, you know, sheath your weapon, or you know, like if you play something like um, Far Cry, when you walk into a town, like it'll automatically like. Uh, unequip your weapon or something or you know a lot of games will just say hey you know you can't shoot the trigger does nothing because you're in this volume but sometimes the games will actually go so far as to say hey you know put your gun away dude and if you pull it and they'll let you pull your gun out and then all the guards will kill you right so we're not going to really worry about that right now uh so we need to go back to dude and we did already check if it was going to work when we just swap stuff uh, the question is, is do I still have that blend? Nope. Shit. Now let's call this pistol. Uh, there, you know, uh, you don't really want to necessarily do just pistol. You may want to, you know, name it depending on how many pistols you have in your game or how many machine guns or rifles or whatever, you know, it really, it really kind of depends, but in this case we're just going to call it like this, and so what I want to do is open that guy, and again, like I did before, we're just going to replace the one, we're just going to put the one animation in every slot. It, you, we've already seen and confirmed that this blend stuff works fine. So as soon as I have a walker run animation, it's going to work just fine. Um, I will also need a shoot montage for the pistol. And at that point is when we're going to have to start getting a little bit heavier into the data handling of the, of the character. Uh, because we need to tell him that he's got a new firing montage and stuff like that. And we need, we need to go through a little bit of rigmarole. So uh, that's the whole point of this part of the series. So let's... Uh, we've got that and we're good there. Uh, the graph needs an edit. So in the idle run state, we need to go to the asset browser and pull this guy up. And we're just going to swap him in like so. And really, as far as the animation graph goes, this right here is actually the only weapon-specific thing, to be honest with you. And to be even more honest with you guys, there's kind of no need to even worry about the blending between him having no weapon. Because that could be its own animation blueprint, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yarp. We don't need any of that. Okay. This is all we actually need here. And the, um, the rifle could do the same thing. Wait. Wait. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not right. It's bl blend by bone. Goddamn, I'm dumb. Yeah, remember, we need theirs to control the, the lower body. Derp. And hook that up. Yeah, I'm stupid. Uh, there. Kapow. There we go. Okay. Oops. My fault. Okay. So with that set up, and like I said, this is really the only thing we kind of need to change. Um, it 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 would make a difference if you're dumb. If if you needed, you know, different jump animations, if he still wants to be able to hold the pistol and stuff like that. In this case, when he jumps, the pistol's just going to be stuck to his hand like the rifle was, because we're not bothering with that. So, with that done, we need to go back here now, and I gotta do this stuff again. So, let's just do a save all. And, I don't even have this anymore. Dang it. So, I'm gonna try to do this quick.
Alright. So, we need our guy. Weird. So we come off of him and we say set anim instance class. Again, this is the same exact thing as saying set animation blueprint. And we need dupes. So if we're using the rifle, we use the third person anim blueprint. And if we use, what did I name the other one? Third person anim blueprint. What did I name the other one? Have I not duplicated this yet? I have not duplicated. Wait. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Fucking hell. Dude, 4.8.1, I just want to say, crashes on me all the time. All the time. In every single one of these projects, it crashes on me constantly. It's gotten so crashy, I don't know what's going on. I really don't. I really don't. But I do know I fucked up because I edited the goddamn original animation blueprint instead of making a duplicate of it because I'm I'm all over the place now. That does happen though. Okay. Uh, so considering that I have actually um, let's just close some of these guys. Considering that I've already edited it to be the pistol, I'm actually gonna dupe this right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this rifle, and I'm going to call this pistol. Okay, it will go through all the code and rename it there too. So let's just save that. Okay. So this I'm going to shorten the name, 3P rifle and BP. Okay, and then we'll do F2 here and 3P pistol and a BP. So I can see the whole freaking names. And it actually puts it at the start of the list, which is nice too. So that was so we, we the pistol's good, we'll just put the rifle back to what it was. So we need to go to the uh, anonym graph and we need to go into the state and to the idle run and then go to our assets and we are looking for the blend rifle again we do need to keep the blend because it's a layered blend okay now he's, that's our rifle one and he's back and again that's all we had to do on it really uh, which is nice so we compile and let's control s and I'm, I'm, I'm guarantee you it's gonna crash during this video again I guarantee it so we do need dude to um, use the rifle one to start with. Unless you want to start him with a pistol, it's up to you. You just set it right there. You guys saw what I did. So boom, save. Okay, so he's got the rifle in his hands. Let's go back here. All right, now we should be able to do, yeah, it crashed, okay. Set anim instance class. God damn, how many times have I done this? So this is going to be rifle... Sorry, pistol, rifle, pistol. So using the rifle, we go to rifle. Using the pistol, we go to pistol. Okay, and... So weird. Actually, I don't need to do that. Let's do this. Okay, so we're going to grab this and just type hidden, set hidden in game, make a dupe, hook it up, like so, that there, and that there. So the pistol is not hidden, the secondary is the pistol, so the secondary is hidden, primary is not. Okay, and we can dupe that for when we go down this trail and we just swap these pistol so yeah the pistol becomes unhidden rifle becomes hidden 
Okay, so that's all we need to do for that right now, I think. And let's just test. I'm hitting save like every time I touch the left mouse button. So let's hit play. Oh, let me, uh, let me uh, turn off the old uh, use controller, y'all, so I can see what's going on when I move the mouse around. Okay, so if I hit Q, there he goes. Q, 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 Q. See? It's freaking awesome, isn't it? Now, problem, if I shoot, bang, but if I shoot, <laughs> he like, that but it's not gonna work um, because the problem is the reason that that won't work is because uh, we are actually um, right here we need to adjust this because the shoot montage is actually shoot montage rifle okay uh, we need to know that whether or not it's a uh, rifle or pistol so what we do is we take this guy and we'll call this um, shoot montage, okay? And what we want to do is we want to hook it up to both of these. And if we look, if we compile this and we look, the shoot montage should already default to the shoot montage, right? So what we can do is we can say um, when we swap weapons, we swap what montage that we play when we shoot. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Um, now, again, I did mention earlier that um, it was not the wisest thing in the universe to store this stuff here on the character. It's actually not entirely true when I said that. Um, it's perfectly fine to do it this way, but <clears throat> because what we're doing with these variables here is we're actually using them. Uh, this, the, what we're doing here is just like, hey, what do, you know, we're handling this data. Um, we there's nothing stopping us from getting the data from anywhere so we can when we uh, swap the weapons once we swap which is here uh, what we can do is we can say um, hey let after this let me go ahead and read all the data from the rifle then now let me read all the data from the pistol and we can update these things fire rate firing mode deviation rounds per shot and all that stuff can can be swapped and the shooting montage will need to be swapped when we change it too so I think in the next video now that we're relatively okay um, we're going to create our first actual weapon class um, we haven't needed it yet and the reason we haven't needed it yet is because we've just been dealing with how the data gets handled um, getting the data is actually a kind of a different story so it's, there's nothing stopping you from doing that in the beginning. We could have created the class then and there, but we didn't have a weapon to even swap to yet, so it didn't make any difference. Now, when I, I just want to make make this clear: when you want to you want to try to plan a ahead as much as possible. If you're the guy making the game, uh, just and and you haven't decided on how many or what kinds of weapons you're making, <clears throat> just push forward with whatever you got. You know. Uh, but try to start incorporating as many of them um, as you can, or at least give yourself, like what we're doing here, the option to swap between two types. Um, and it doesn't matter what the types are, because remember, we have what we've done now is we've broken the weapons down into categories. We have primary and secondary. So the 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 primary weapon can be a shotgun, a rifle, a, a machine gun, a rocket launcher. It can be anything. And same thing with the pistol. It could be a pistol. It could be a knife. It could be a you know pair of brass knuckles or something. I mean, whatever you wanted to do. And this is obviously different when you're um, you know doing like a like a magic game, right? Like if you're a wizard, you're a wizard, Harry. So, anyways, let's leave it here. I think we are good in terms of the swap. Okay, again, it's all about swapping the anim instance. Okay, now there's no uh, blend between the two, but in reality, you don't actually necessarily want to blend between the two. In reality, what you want to do is call an equip and unequip animation. So what would happen is when I hit Q, he would unequip the rifle. He would put it away. At the moment that that animation finishes, we would do what we just did. Okay but we would immediately start him in the equip animation for the pistol and then it would be flip-flopping that way so whatever weapon you're holding plays its unequip animation and then plays 
the equip animation for whatever weapon you just swapped to. So ho hopefully that makes sense. Um, the fact that I'm skipping that sh I don't think should throw you guys off, but if it does, let me know. Because sometimes what you gotta do is um, when you get the equip animation in, you may or may not want to use uh, an animation notify. So like for instance, if on this animation here, say let's just assume that this was the equip. So he's going, he's putting the gun away, and now boom, it's away right here. I could say, hey, uh, notify, and when this notify gets fired, we can now say, hey, you know, it, it, it's been unequipped, right? Unequipped was fired, so go ahead and now swap that. Do the actual swap, right? Um, and that that that's that's actually a pretty good way of doing it, to be honest with you, because you can time it better now. Um, I know I kind of had weird issues trying to add notifies to the very end of an animation, um, and unfortunately, there's like no, there's no other way that I know of that will actually create a call. You can you can constantly check, like, hey, is this still playing? Is this still playing? But that's not called. You know, that's not being listened for. Uh, the cool thing about notifies is that they're listened for, right? It's they they'll only fire when they're you know when they're told and you don't have to keep checking for it because it'll tell you it happened uh, otherwise I don't really know of any way to do that so uh, yeah let's end this part here and then the next part we'll start um, messing with the data uh, I'm gonna need, probably need to come in here create a firing animation as well as a um, a run animation and a, uh, you know stuff like that um, and we may or may not at the end uh, start dealing with with how you equip and unequip and in reality I mean the animation can be literally him just going like that you know or you know putting it putting it down you know you know like literally just like that uh, but we're not gonna go that cheese if we do do it so let me save this and yeah uh, so this hip uh sign off thanks for watching uh, that is weapon swap uh, pretty much in its entirety um, and, and how to actually go about it and the rest like I said is now just simply data handling um, we need to swap the anim class and we just need to say which weapon is showing. That's it. This this right here is fluff. This right here is the meat of it. Okay. This is what's important. This really is not that important, to be honest. I mean, yes, it's important, but it's, uh, I don't know, it's hard to explain that. It's a secondary thing. It's, it's visual. Uh, this is less visual. This actually puts him into a different class and it's important. So, hip hop sign off. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.